Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here in the lovely world of raccoons with me, Vanilla Raccoon! Hey yo! And in this episode, you guys, we are going to be building da 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 something that I've actually been meaning to do uh, that involves Patreon. And for those of you who are unaware as to what Patreon is, think of it as a monthly subscription service, much like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon, but it's on a monthly basis, and you can uh, support the event or person one month, take a month off, and then the next month resume supporting them. So if you would like to support me by continuing to do YouTube and pursue it as a lifetime career, then by all means, check out the Patreon page. There should be a link in the description section. But anywho, with that self-promotion out of the way, uh, on my Patreon campaign, if you were to support me via the third tier, you not only get one of my signature houses built and dedicated to you over in the medieval patreon kingdom which is where we spawned in and spent the first like 20 episodes or whatever of this let's play series at um and you oh i keep forgetting what the second tier level offers you besides the first tier but the third tier level is i will build whatever project i'm going to be starting whatever i build within that project which in this case it's going to be our swamp biome oops spoilers over there excuse me um Whatever I build in the new project area, I will dedicate one of the builds to you. Phone! Oh, sorry. I got a Twitter notification. Apparently, I was actually, before I started to record this, I said on Twitter that tomorrow is the last day to pledge on Patreon to weep the rewards for the month of May. And apparently, I typed weep as in, like, crying, not weep or reap as in like give me all that rewards give me um and mr sir kb pointed that out to me no! and so um yeah so in this episode we're going to be building the first build that will be dedicated to a mr sparky plays minecraft sparky plays minecraft was kind enough to dedicate well, not dedicate was kind enough to support me via the third tier on patreon and so uh, even though this took like almost a month later to finally get around to doing, I figured why not go ahead and dedicate the brewing station to him. Now, real quick, I want to just tell you guys that if you did not know this, and I'm sure I may have mentioned this in a video, um, if not the most recent episode in the Lovely World of Raccoons, then maybe a couple episodes back, I had said to you guys that the longer you stay in an area, the more harder mobs will spawn in. Meaning, for example, if you stay in one area, instead of just getting zombies spawning in left and right, you may start to get zombies with iron and or gold pieces of armor equipped to them. Or even enchanted iron and or gold pieces of armor equipped to them. And so, um, with that all being said, oh jeez, it got really dark here really quick. Thank you, shaders. Um... So with that all being said, because we're in a swampland biome, I have seen it rain and storm here more times than in, in, than in any other biome in this world. And this world has been active for four months in real lifetime, and it hardly ever rained or stormed there. But here, it's like almost every, and I'm not exaggerating here, it's almost like every, I don't know, hour or so in real lifetime it begins to rain or storm here so with that all being said check it out you guys we got 23 skeleton horses now they are not all right here i also sorry i have a mint in my mouth i also have the other skeleton horses in this area as well and look at it look at them we got 23 skeleton horses i just don't know what to do with them I, if anyone has any ideas as to what we can do with them, that's not putting them back into their graves. Feel free to let me know. So, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, you know what? We have armor. We have enchanted diamond armor, to be more specific. Let's go ahead, make it daytime, make it the morning, and begin to look at the structure that I've already started to build, which is Sparky's Brewing Station. Ooh, that was really quick in my opinion. Phone! But how do they... Okay, I'm not even going to bother with that one right now. 
now I got a certain turtle asking me questions on the Twitter. And because my phone is sort of off in the distance, I can't really see the screen too well. So this is what we have so far for Sparky's Brewing Station. Now, the finished product, I assure you guys, is not going to be... Uh, I don't want to say symmetrical. That's not the right word. But the finished product is not going to be even. That's what I'm trying to say. Right now, at least to help me start with the building. Oh, actually, I don't have my stairs with me. To help me get started with the building, um, I built this in a private single-player Let's Build Road, by the way, too. So um, I'm going off of that as well. But as you guys can tell... The logs are four in height right now, and that's just for the first floor. This is going to be, hold on a second, mm, stupid mint started the breakdown, and as I was talking, it started to break down even more. Okay, so this is going to be like to help me get started with the first floor. This is going to be a two-story brewing station. Why? Because aside from this just being a place to come in, brew potions, we're going to have a kitchen right here. We're going to have a little closet space area right here. And then in this room right here is going to be the magic room where all the potions are brewed. But then we're also going to have a ladder system that goes up. And then that's where the second floor comes in. And we're going to have tons. And I assure you guys, tons of chests stacked everywhere. So that way, because, you know, when you brew potions, you're eventually going to start to accumulate quite a lot of them at once. So, the one thing I also wanted to just point out to you guys was, um, <clears throat> this build, as we're building it in a swamp land biome, it, the one thing I like to do with my builds is try and keep some form of realism, if you will, uh, with the builds. So, when I think of a swamp land area, I think of, like... I think of marshes, I think of the ground being squishy, soft, uh, not completely sturdy, where if you were to take your foot and place it in the ground, it may sink down a little bit. So that is why I added a double layer of stone brick blocks for the foundation. So that way, because this is going to be, once again, a two-story house, we don't have to worry about it starting to sink into the ground. Although, actually, now that I begin to think about it, because this is going to be tall because of the second story, we may act, I may actually go ahead and add a third layer of stone brick blocks just to act as a foundation. But I think, you know what? Because this is stone bricks and they seem to... Stone bricks look to be like a very firm, strong, sturdy uh, form of support for a structure. I think two layers will be fine. One, obviously, going around the outside that is exposed, and then the second being in the ground. I don't know. So I want to go ahead, and I'm going to get my build on, and I'll show you, and I'll come back, and I'll show you guys some progress. I'm not going to cut the video and then just build it all in one go, and then come back and show you what I've done. Because I want to show you guys the, the I want to walk you guys through the building process, but instead of doing a sped up building montage or a live playback montage, building montage i'm just gonna start breaking up these little building process bits and yeah i may have made a boo-boo while constructing this um i was using dark oak logs when it comes to these corner pillar pieces and now what i went ahead and did was i actually had to lower the horizontal logs by one block space and I accidentally used spruce logs as opposed to the dark oak, which is what I'm actually supposed to be using. So now I got to go ahead and remove all the dark oak logs. I mean, not dark oak logs. Oh, good gravy. I have to go ahead and remove all the spruce logs that are horizontally placed. But thankfully, at least, that is not a problem. It's just something... It, it's something... It is, I guess you could say, a crucial part of this build because obviously spruce logs have a different texture than dark oak logs do, but it's not like I have to completely tear apart the whole build just to go ahead and fix my mistake that I made. Um, always check over your work, peeps, regardless what the case may be. Always just, you know, 
check to make sure what you did is correct and if it is not then just easily go back and fix it life lessons with your boy vanilla raccoon yeah so uh no that's spruce let's not make the same mistake again we don't want to make the same mistake again man that would be really embarrassing to do especially on camera and so wait Nope. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. So let's just quickly talk about what we have going on for the ceiling slash second floor. <coughs> now, because we're going to have, let's actually go ahead and get a torch out so we can have some form of light going on here. Now, because we are going to have not in this room, but over here, we're going to have chests stacked up on top of one another. It's pretty important that we actually can have access to the top chest. And as far as I'm aware of, stairs are considered transparent blocks, much like half slabs, glowstone, sea lanterns, leaf blocks. And I'm sure there may be one or a few other various blocks that are actually transparent. Um, but we don't want to have... We do not want to have a solid block like stone based blocks, wood based blocks or such uh, because then we won't be able to open the chest. So when I was designing this, I was thinking to myself, well, I don't want to just have a completely flat ceiling. So what is something that I could use? And at first I wanted to try and come up with some zigzag pattern with stairs that were placed upside down but I really could not figure anything out and I wanted this to be overall just something simple that you guys the viewers could come in look at and then recreate for yourself when the fourth row download comes out or if you're just watching this video and you're building it along um then you guys could just easily pause the video and go okay that's what vanilla did there that's what vanilla did there okay i can easily do that because the whole point of this series even though it is to um get people to embrace their builders Oh, I was afraid I was going to take damage. Even though the point of this series is to encourage others to get their build on and also at times um, educate the masses <laughs> to a certain extent on various forms of topics. Uh, I also want like in the event that you guys see something that you see me building on camera during the video you guys can just easily recreate it yourself then and there of course i do tend to make let's build videos based off of the stuff that i have in this world um like for example just the other day i made a minecraft let's build video of this simple swamp sorry about that this simple swamp house but oh look at those god rays and when the sun peeks over the mountain I gotta be honest with you guys, I was not entirely sure if I was happy with where I started to build at in regards to the Swamp Village. But oh, look at that! And as the sun begins to rise even more, you just see the shadows begin to fade away and the light begins to hit the... Oh, I gotta, I gotta take a screeny. But first, let me take a screeny. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, shaders! I love thee! I love thee! Okay, so... I want to go ahead now, and I'm going to begin working on the second floor along with the roof. So I'll see you guys when the structure is overall complete, and we can go ahead and just do some minor decoration bits, or detailing as I like to call it. And there she is, the official Sparky's Brewing Station. Now... As you guys may be able to tell, actually, you know, you probably can't with the shaders. So I'm going to go ahead and actually turn off the shaders now. And bam, our frame rate had drastically improved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so as you guys may be able to tell, we have a mixture. Actually, I don't even know if you can tell from this point of view or even with the shaders turned off. But anywho, I'm going to do my best to try and give you guys a visual aid here if you cannot see it i'm truly sorry so i mixed up spruce stairs with ooh, cobblestone i mixed up spruce stairs with spruce half slabs and i also changed the position of some of these spruce stairs that were placed for example right there i'm not sure how well you can tell but in the center of your screen there is a upside down spruce stair and that was to give it this shadowy look right in that little area right there because although this is a roof um, i wanted it to have a sort of um it's in a swamp 
area so obviously due to the poor weather conditions the the roof may <coughs> <coughs> man sorry about that due to the poor weather conditions within this swampland area uh, the roof may not be as strong as it used to be and at this point now I'm trying to do my best with the bone milling on camera along with placing of these rose bushes because actually you know I probably should have saved at least one bone mill so I could demonstrate this to you guys on camera let me just go ahead and quickly go ahead and gr check my mob drops chest because I think I have some bones yes I do excellent day so little fun fact for you and this can help with your decorational with your decorating etiquette whatever um, if you did not know this if you go up to a rose bush with bone meal it drops another rose bush all you need is theoretically just one rose bush and then you can go ahead and get as many rose bushes as you'd like to have. It does not have a certain amount it can give you. It does not run out of rose bushes. <coughs> Sorry about that once again. It is infinite. So, unfortunately though, you guys, actually wait a minute, I didn't even get to show you guys the inside. Come on in, MTV. Let me show you my crib, alright? So, I think I already showed you guys this, the furnace area, the kitchen area. I am going to be using light gray panes, window panes for the windows, but I have to get the light gray dye and then get enough sand to smelt into glass and do all that fun jazz. But this is an infinite water source. There's nothing else down there because um, in the event that you download the fourth row download when this is going to be here, and you want to do some exploring and see if there's anything else. Nope, it's just an infinite water source. And then we have, like I was saying, single chests on top of one another. And then we have single trap chests stacked on top of one another. And I completely forgot to light up this area. Crap. Okay, I'm going to do that off camera though. Don't worry, don't worry. So, oh wow, I actually forgot to place a half slab right here as well. Okay, let me, oh I do have torches on me. Let's just go ahead and do this right now. Um... Again, we have a cauldron, infinite water source, there's nothing down there, so in the event that you come in here and you want to see if there's anything else under there, nope. Then we have double chest, and this is a semi-automatic brewing station, so, and by that I mean what you do is actually, I meant to actually place hoppers. It, the the idea was you're gonna have your bottles and here your bottles of water inside of here so then they'll drop down in here and then through another hooper hopper system nether wart will be flowing into here one after the other so that way again semi-automatic you don't have to do anything except place and extract the bottles of water or awkward potions at that point and then from there you can just place your resources to make whatever potion you wanted inside of here and bam you're good to go and then in here actually let's go ahead and place this here as well <coughs> <clears throat> so in here we have our storage compartment like what I was like what I was saying because you will be making a because we'll be making a ton and I mean a ton of potions we're gonna need quite a lot of space for storage and well here you go you guys so unfortunately now that is all the time that i have for today so if you like what you see then please give that like button a hug and subscribe for the latest buzz and if you had a blast with a good laugh then make sure you favorite this video and share it with a friend or two but until next time peeps this is vanilla raccoon peace out